Hello, hello, this is uh, Portal Games Vlog, this is Ignacy Trzewiczek from Portal Games and in this video we are discussing the, the game Printing Press. Uh, good morning, hello fellow gamers, this is Ignacy Trzewiczek from Portal Games with me today as always uh, Maciej, our video editor and today we are presenting the game called Printing Press. This is the game that is releasing exactly today, exactly on Wednesday in uh, North America. We have rights for the North America for the game and in this video I would like to talk about this game and uh, tell you how awesome it is. Uh, I brought these amazing old books from my, from my collection, believe it or not. But this is Julius Verne. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite uh, writer, and here as well Julius Verne. So as you know, I love, I love my adventure books. This is it. But going back to the game, in the printing press we are manufacturing, we are producing, we are printing uh, books in the uh, old old times, the times of the Gutenberg. Uh, this is a game from one to four players. I'm discussing today uh, a regular two to four player a variant. In this game, we are going to play for the three rounds. We have a first round, second round, and third round. In each round, we are going to draft cards uh, that we will use to produce uh, uh, books. But before that, each player takes one of the special characters uh, that they give us uh, special powers. I got, uh, I have a Gutenberg. This is so cool. And uh, my opponent would have. Uh, Mrs. Yolande Bohome, whoever she is. Uh, we have this uh, amazing cute wooden pawn stamp that we can use as actual stamp. Uh, and it is our uh, player uh, uh, turn order uh, marker. We have our tokens in the back. We have our frames, very, very important. We have our orders, very important. And we have our cast, our paper that we will use uh, to build a, a book. The game starts with the draft of the orders and uh, to draft the order we will have, uh, depending how many players, let's say we play two players, we will have these pairs of uh, frame and the order. So if we play two players, there are three of them, I will pick one of them, my opponent will pick the other one and the third one will be discarded. Why this is a pair? Because we need to look at the what this frame is telling us, what we need to achieve with this frame uh, for the book and then we have the order. What uh, uh, person who orders the book wants from us, so these additional things and these two features will award us with victory points. So we are now looking at which frame paired with the order is best for us, which has some synergies, which has some interesting options to build together. Now let's say I'll pick this one, let's say Yolanda pick this one and this one would be discarded. So now I have my order. Now I know that in this frame we need to have a yellow ink in this part of the book, we have to have a grey ink in this part of the book, we have to use a, a, a leather as a decoration, etc. So this is how this book needs to look like. And we have the order from the from the person that uh, they have these letters and these words, a particular in this book. So this is my goal to achieve. And uh, Yolan has uh, her uh, goal. And now we go to the first phase and in the first phase we are going to draft cards. We are dra drafting these uh, pages, these cards uh, to create this book. We have, depending on the variant we are playing, because we have a uh, expert variant, standard variant and family variant in the book, in the rulebook, so you will have uh, more or less these uh, chances to draft the cards. Mm, uh, in the standard variant we will have uh, five, uh, five rounds of that. And we are using these very unique, super unique uh, cards are very very unique shape and this is the same situation depending how many players that many cards will be in, uh, in the draft area so let's say we play for the two players so I have a one card I have a second card and I have a third card and from this card I will pick one of these cards because I'm drafting a, a yellow ink uh, is good for me and letter O is good for me so I would pick this card look at this it has a yellow and it has all this what I need so I will pick this one she would pick a letter U and it's the first round of the draft. And then the second round of the draft, the ones again, three cards uh, go here between us. We have one card to draft, second card to draft, third card to draft. And I have, oh, I have already this icon. This is something I'm looking for. She would draft this, the one will be discarded, etc, etc, etc. So we are drafting these cards and at some point we will have a 
patchwork of these different pages, the different uh, cards that we drafted, and now we want to create a, a super awesome master page for our book. So I will do it now, uh, cheating a little bit, but just a little bit. Don't worry, it will be just very, very quick, very short. Oh, I need it like that. And let's say I put it like, I need this O. So I put it like that, and I put it like that, and I put it like that. And uh, so now I have all these cards in front of me, and now I'm taking my frame, and I'm picking which part of these, all these cards I want to use in my book. So this is a very fulfilling, very awesome moment when I, I, I had for these five rounds of drafting, these five cards, one, two, three, four, five cards, I created this shape, and now I'm picking uh, the frame, and bam, and I'm picking, and the symbols that are inside the frame will score me a point. We have all the special tokens that we can use if uh, we didn't draft anything valuable for us. We will have these tokens, we can, we have different ways to uh, get them, so I would be able to update this frame with some additional tokens that change the lettering or the ink inside the frame. And then I'm matching my frame with my order. Do I have a yellow ink? Yes, I do. Do I have a gray ink? I would have if I'm not talking to the camera because I will, I'll just put it right now wrong, but I could put it better, so I would have five points. Do I have a letter? I don't have a letter, so that was my bad drafting. Do I have a letter I? I don't have a letter I. Do I have a letter O? Yes, I do. Do I have a letter O in the uh, left uh, down corner? I would if I'm not talking to the camera, so I would score this point. So. That will be my first phase of the game, and drafting these five cards, try to match is a very important pattern for me, and then scoring this point, the same for the opponent, and this frame would go here as a mate, and I would now choose, let me grab the dedicated tokens, and now I would choose uh, which scoring for the whole game I'm going to per uh, pursue, pursue. So in each frame, in each frame, at the bottom of the frame I have additional goals, additional tasks that I can achieve here and now it's my time to decide that I'm going to have uh, most of the uh, blue icons, the uh, blue ink in my in my uh, books or I go for this decoration, I will go for the, for, the, for the blue and now at the end scoring of the game I will score additional points for the blue icon, for the blue ink in my, in my frames. The first round starts uh, we discard initiative uh, markers, I haven't mentioned them, uh, we are drafting based on our initiative markers and there are different tools to grab this, these uh, markers, very important when we are drafting, especially for two players, there's only three cards, you want to be the first player to draft from these three cards. Now we go to the second round, one again, first we will have these three frames matching with three orders, we would pick a uh, one of these frames that ma matches for me. Now I'll probably pick this one because it demands from me blue ink anyway, and I'm going for blue ink in a long run, so I would pick this frame. So now it's this long time strategy building up. She would pick something else, and we start drafting cards again and again and again. And this is uh, done for the three phases. In these three phases, we will have uh, finished these three pages of the of the book uh, with the, all these uh, victory points scored, and in like in every other. This is embarrassing because in this scoring part I'm losing the game. So uh, you can imagine we are putting a score here in the in the scoring scoring uh, mm, notebook and we see who won the game. Classical, very simple, very awesome uh, Euro game in which we are building these patterns. If you are lo looking in that in the games, this is something for you. We have this fulfilling moment of <laughs> choosing which of these cards we want to use in our final final page. We have uh, orders uh, and we have this, uh, so we have uh, two ways to score points. We have uh, short time points on the frame, and then we have a long time uh, points in the uh, long time strategy. A lot of uh, interesting mechanisms. The game is designed by two Polish uh, game designers, Przemysław Wojtkowiak and Łukasz Woźniak. You probably recognize Łukasz Woźniak as a designer of uh, Witcher game, so a very famous uh, designer. Uh, I'm very proud to be publisher of this game, and this game is our first release this year. It releases uh, March 20th, exactly, exactly today. Uh, and now, let's move to the other topics. Uh, I have my notes from the front of what's happening at Portal Games. The first impor important information, Forgal is in production, uh, no problems whatsoever so far, so we are hoping for 
I think this is a June, June release for North America. First, we need to deliver it in May to Buckers, and then in June or July, we are going to release it. I think it's a late, late, late June schedule for North America release. We have Imperial Miners, Aztecs vs. Weirlings also in print. I remind you, this is our first expansion for Imperial Miners, and it is scheduled for the September ish release. It will be probably our Essen. In Essen release in terms of the Essen, but if you are pre-order, you will probably get it in a September. In, uh, local editions of Imperial Miners, Brazilian, Serbian, Hungarian, everything is smooth, everything is uh, printing. This is only for Polish market, so this is not interesting. Uh, for you, so I will not mention this. This is a secret prototype for the next year, so I'm not going to discuss this, but it's going pretty, pretty awesome. We are doing artwork uh, right now. The new faction for Neuroshima Hex, we are going to announce this uh, new faction on the May 1st. So very very soon, in a few weeks, we are going to uh, re mm, present it. And, uh, for Polish fans, we will do a uh, gameplay, because it's easier for us to do gameplay in, Poli in Poland, in Polish. Uh, but uh, for you, for our English fans, we will announce the title of the army, we will announce the, uh, the cover, the artwork, the theme. So uh, look, uh, please look for uh, May 1st. AI Space Puzzle, everything is printing. Uh, once again, a reminder: this is our Essen, uh, this is our Gen Con release. Amazing, amazing game. I should have a copy with me to show it next week. I will show a copy. Uh, this is something we are doing for a Polish edition only. Uh, my uh, Zombiaki, my famous, famous game, the one, the second game I ever designed. I designed the first game was Machina, Machina, and the second game I ever designed was Zombiaki. And we are reprinting uh, Zombiaki to celebrate 25th uh, anniversary, 25th birthday of Portal Games. But we are doing it only in Polish. This is not yet announced, our Essen release. This is for Poland and the last one is for the next next year. So everything is fine, everything is doing very very well. We are very happy, we are back from Gamma. It was happening two weeks ago. I wish you amazing amazing week, I wish you amazing amazing weekend. If you have any question, please ask them in the comments. As always, I'm reading them and I appreciate them, so thank you for that. And by the way, last week I was at the Leiracon in Portugal. And greetings to all the fans that I met in Portugal. Thank you for all the copies of the rule books and boxes that you brought to sign. I signed a couple of first Martians. I signed the Robinson Crusoe. I signed the Book of Adventures, a couple of them already. And I signed Imperial Miners. I signed 51st State. And from all the most popular games I designed, there was no detective in Portugal. Uh, but all other um, uh, 51st state and Piacetta and Robinson Crusoe, there was many of them I was signing, I was very very happy. Uh, greetings to my Portugal fans, uh, greetings to all other fans, talk to you next week on Wednesday. Stay tuned, bye bye.